Hey, hey, I remember you. Hey, that guy, huh? Well, 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 well. Hey, how about uh, I serve you a beer? And I just stopped saying, well, 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 well. Now, it's not, it's not posted, uh, apparently, but uh, the beer is $10 a 10-ounce glass. Now, let me just open this uh, Bob Newton nozzle. Had a bit of an embarrassing uh, situation last week. Ooh, that's a, uh, that's a nice one, huh? Uh, that is a uh, hand carved, I believe, using a special high grit stone to uh, finish that nozzle there. Um, that should fit. Mm, mwah, fantastic. All right. Do you know where you are? This is the Jefferson Avenue way station. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now, uh, before I go any further, let me just fit that on there. Uh, well, a little bit of give, which doesn't make me all that excited, but um, hey, we uh, we make do here. Um, um, that is a uh, that's a clean glass, but it's been sitting there for a while and it's accumulated dust. And let me tell you, dust is not a good spice for your beer. Is there a good spice for your beer? I wonder. I uh, have experimented with adding particulate matter to the beverage, but uh, you see, when you drink a beverage, you want a liquid. You want a liquid that is, well, perhaps some solid pieces dissolved inside of it, but the key word there is dissolved. See, uh, we can't have a solid as a drink. Uh, see there? That's what happens when you try to drink a solid. One time I thought I could uh, cut some of the pieces out of the process when making myself a package of Swiss Miss hot chocolate and uh, just take the water and the milk out of it. Can't be done. It's just a cup of powder, unfortunately. Now, powder, that is not the original form of the cocoa plant. No, no, that's the, the Swiss have it completely wrong. Believe it or not, chocolate is not even from Switzerland. And I think that is why they're our, they are our enemies. Switzerland, they fancy themselves a powerful landlocked, highly fortified nation, but someday we'll trick them. Someday we'll find our way in. They're neutral to nothing. No, they're enemies to the world. There are two geographically, geopolitically aligned poles in this planet. It is terra firma, all the landlocked nations. Switzerland, wait, no, I'm sorry. It, they are all the land nations against Switzerland. Back up again. I want to get this right because this will be my official announcement pronouncement to the League of Nations. They are all the land nations, all the terrestrial nations besides Switzerland against Switzerland and the aquatic nations, the mer people, Atlanteans, um, Singapore, I think, yes. Um, I, I've got my I've got my eye on Mongolia because I feel like uh, at any moment they could flip a switch and suddenly become an ocean nation. It's uh, it's all steppe lands there, and who knows if a spout can form in the center of that steppe land. Uh, all you need is one rock to move, and then gushing forth the brine of, of their ancestors. No one knew this, but the ancient Mongolians, 
They were very adept at warfare because they found the land very easy to traverse compared to the more dense liquid water. They came above and they said, well, for one, it's easier to breathe. We don't have to uh, surface. And another thing, you don't have to walk through it like this is the moon. Gravity was a bit of an issue. You see, they, uh, they were used to their medium being somewhat heavier, which in comparison would make them lighter or, you know, to themselves, to their own personal experience. And that is something that they had to get used to. That is why they are all very compact people. They are, um, well, Tolkien based his uh, dwarf people on the Mongolians, on the ancient Mongolians. That's a fact. That is actually in the upcoming film. That is part of the trailer. That's where I learned it from. Oh. Am I, th listen, all this I'm saying right now, this, this funny little pronouncement I'm making, is that going to get you a beer? No. I will get you a beer, though. And uh, you see, fresh new nozzle. This one won't break. Hey, 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 look down there. That thing's full. Full no give on that. No dry beer here. No, this is wet beer. Solid beer. Liquid beer. Excuse me. I almost gave away my secret. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, get that for you. Ooh, well, um, I'm gonna have to shake that a little bit. I think uh, these uh, solid pieces uh, came with a little gunk in the middle, which is, I shouldn't be surprised, it's a bit used. New is a relative term, like new. There we are. There's the stuff, oh my, oh, thank you. I forgot to put a, Oh, geez, I forgot to put a glass down. Oh. Oh, oh crumbs. Now look at that. I'm going to, l listen, I know you've been waiting patiently. Um, just sit down. There is a small novel there. It is by um, uh, Makoto uh, Tamita. And he writes very short poems. They're not haikus. These are, uh, well, you see, he had a dream one day. He lived during the Meiji era. He said, someday we will have cell phones that can play us six second videos. No one knew what he was talking about, but he knew and he said, listen, Listen to the writing I'm making. Listen to the brush stroke. That is a six second video. And those were his six second poems. Uh, uh, open up to page uh, 50. No, you have to open the other way, for goodness sakes. This is in a Western book. All right, yeah, open up that way. Okay, page 50. No, that's 40. Page 50. Thank you. Now, uh, go down uh, to the uh, line seven. You see they're marked conveniently there. I know it's it's pretty densely packed. Uh, Makoto, he had uh, a lot of time on his hands. I think he might have been mentally ill, which I don't I I don't know if that lent quality to it. Woof 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 woof. My head. Jeez. What was that? What just happened? Did you, did you see a flash? Oh, no, it's not going down, is it? Oh. Oh, my, my head. Is the book okay? I, that book, I, uh, I, I really don't want it. I want, I want that book to be damaged. Even if there is some sort of catastrophe happening now, that that book, um, well, you see my uh, my girlfriend in the freshman year in college, she gave that to me. And she said, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm quoting her right now because this is a major event in my life. She says, pretty good. They're a little short, but I like them. I read them when I was five years old, and that's when I fully began to understand them. And I think she was bragging a little bit. 
because I I don't understand them yet. I uh, is it uh, you still have that page open? Yeah, you got your thumb right there. Um, yep, there you go. Um, now read that out loud. Oh, yes, just just pure loveliness. It didn't last very long, but. I don't, my life's not going to last very long. I'm 37. I forget all the time. I always forget. Because I don't think about my age. My wife thinks about her age quite often. But it never occurs to me how old I am. Because I think I'm going to be hit by a car. I'm going to be struck by lightning. I'm going to be attacked with a rope of some sort. I think uh, people underestimate the danger of ropes. A rope can basically uh, cinch off your head without warning, with, a, with no warning at all. It's like uh, when you're working with clay. But that could happen to me, 37-year-old me, at any moment. I, th I saw a man die by a rope one time. Yeah. Yes. Yes, don't, hey, don't, please, please, this is my life. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, it, it missed all this, uh, all this catastrophe. I, um, forgot to, uh, there we go. Glass right there. You know, I just, there we are. Let me make sure the head isn't. Too close to the top, you see, because, um, well, I'm gonna let you in on something. Uh, there's sometimes uh, some money to be made in that quarter inch the meniscus reach in there, and uh, I understand I might be depriving you a small amount of beer, but I cannot break even if I waste beer on it's a person who might just spill it. Now, I don't assume that's you, but it might be you. Here you go. There you are. Hey, what do you think? I'm sorry, I'll, I'll stop talking and I'll let you drink. Now I think a second is long enough to let you drink. Now what do you think? Eh, uh, I didn't mean to do that on purpose. Uh, drinks think they rhyme. And that is not a coincidence. The Germans knew this. Because their word for think rhymes with drink. Trinked rhymes with the... Katrinked. That's not that's not the word for think at all. It's probably a cognate of pons, the, the French word for think, or maybe it isn't. You see, um, uh, like all languages, German is a Indo-Arabic um, language, and it's uh, it's uh, the German alphabet is comprised of just purely consonants. And when you, uh, when you hear someone speaking in German, it's, it is, a, it, uh, people say it's a beautiful language, it is. It sounds like a, an alarm clock falling down an endless set of stairs. You know, you know where I got that uh, imagery? I got that out of um, Makoto, um, my God, what is his name? What is that man's last name? Did that, uh, now, now I'm gonna ask you something. Did you really see it flash just, just a few minutes ago? Did that really, did that just occur or? Oh, did I? Oh. Well, I'm glad nothing catastrophic happened, but now that is a, a whole order, a whole new order of, um, of peculiar, I hate saying the word peculiar. One thing, I'm not sure what it means. Is it a cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon? Is it a cinnamon? It doesn't mean the same thing as strange or weird. I'll tell you something, strange and weird don't mean the same thing. No, weird uh, means, um, it's uh, when you put a hallucinogenic ointment on your uh, mop 
and uh, insert it into your vagina. I know there are ladies here, uh, but um, this is something everybody should know. And in, in my opinion, if I were uh, giving out free health advice, I'd say we should all apply hallucinogenic ointments to our genitals, whether it be, well, let, let me narrow it down, into to our urethras. We expel all the useless liquid from there. Why not take useful liquid in? And you can't put anything in the urethra, true. But an ointment? An ointment is never really per, per se a substantial substance. Yeah, think about it. Think about it, please, for goodness sake. This is most pubs you go to be yelled at, to be scolded, to be to have your voice box worn ragged because the music is playing so loud. Here we just have um, the Takata and Fugue. Uh, well, yeah, let me let me admit it. Uh, just a brief um, section of the Takata and Fugue playing in a loop at a very low volume. Uh, I don't know how to exactly quantify the volume, but I'm looking over at the knob and it goes all the way up to 10. Someday I'll get a better one. Now, did you, do you want another one of those? Well, you haven't drank it yet. Oh, I gave you a, I gave you a full few seconds to drink it in silence. Oh, Oh, you're reading the poems. Oh, that's that, oh, that's nice. What is your favorite one so far? Well, I love you know I love that one too. I, I'm sorry, my wife just texted me, and she told me she loved me. And I, I, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now she's telling me she doesn't like me when I do. Oh. Well, sometimes you need to, uh, sometimes you got to use cayenne pepper. I don't, she doesn't like it when I use cayenne pepper and uh, scrambled eggs. You know what? I, I don't care if it, if it degrades the brain cells. Sometimes you need to, sometimes you need to enhance the taste of egg. Why eggs are mostly, and when I say mostly, uh, I mean 1% per volt by mass sulfur now you can't sulfur can't be the that can't be the only spice you need to live by a new rule you need to play your own banjo which is um the maharishi said that to um to brian williams brian brian wilson excuse me <laughs> who is brian williams did he die I, I, I've heard his name recently. I, I believe it's because he's dead. Um, you go to the first page of that book right there. Yep, um, Makoto mentions him, which I guess that means that Brian Williams lived in the late 1800s. Wow. Uh, if he died recently, then oof, he, well, he, uh, he lived a little longer than I did. I'll say that. Though I don't know when or how long I'm going to live. Will it be 30 years? Will it be 10 years? Um, oh, I, 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 that's $10, please, actually. Yes, well, I, I mean, I, I don't have a, a tab here. I don't have a tablet to take down your, uh, your, take down your credit. So I will need to have you pay that. I don't take car, unfortunately. Uh, you know, see, there's a there's a charge that goes to the bank for that. Um. Now, uh, maybe you could call a friend and have them bring the money, and then you could owe them that. No, you just said no to me. That's fine. Um, do you have any paper? Well, listen, I'll I'll just write it on that book here. Give me that. All right, ten dollars. What's your name? All right, Donald Gizmo. Well, oh, that is an unusual name, so I will remember you.
All right. Well, have a good night. And I will see you next week. And bring the money, please. For goodness sakes, I can't keep giving out free beer. <laughs>